All right, let's keep the records going. This one's called Jamaican Name Next Bishop Dover. Right, and it's in London, England. Queen Elizabeth has approved the appointment of Reverend Prebendary Rose Hudson Wilkin, the Jamaican born chaplain to the Speaker of the House of Commons, preaching charge of St. Mary at Hill, London, as the next Bishop of Dover. The appointment was announced yesterday. That yesterday means Friday. All right, uh, okay. So the new bishop was introduced to the diocese by the Archbishop of Canterbury at his visit to St. George's School in Broadstairs. Quote unquote, I'm excited to have been called to be the next bishop of Dover in the Diocese of Canterbury with long history of Christian witness, said Hudson Wilkin. I'm looking forward to joining the people of Kent, uh, not to be a few confused with Clark Kent, aka Superman, just a little joke here, celebrating the good work that is already happening there and working together with religious and second leaders to ensure that the good news of hope, love, and justice remains at the heart of our changed lives together. Welcoming the appointment, Archbishop Justin Welby said, Rose Hudson Welkin has, over the last nine years, been one of the most influential and effective ministers in the public square through her long service as chaplain to Speaker House of Commons. She has been subscribed as prophet, pastor, and evangelist. She has challenged Church of England over its engagement with UK minority ethnic groups, and I've spoken forcefully and effectively at many evangel evangelistic meetings. Okay, I like that particular part because I really don't want to get the impression she's just going to be this minority figure headed within the church because, all right, I'll get into that then. Quote, quote, he added, I'm absolutely delighted that she wants to move from her current role to be the new Bishop of Dover. She'll bring great energy and a profound commitment to collegial working and outward looking approach, approach to the mission of the church in a profound spiritual life. Quote, unquote, I'm thrilled that roles will be taken as crucial role at a time when we seek to change more and more lives for Christ in our diocese, added diocesan secretary Julian Hills. She brings a prophetic voice that will both challenge and to discern God's will for our future. Tell the story of a loving and generous God who reaches out to all people. No doubt she'll have blessed in many way, different ways. Uh, Speaker of the House of Commons, John Burke said, Rose one the warmest, kindest, and most loving people I've ever met. She was just sorely missed by the members across the whole staff, especially me. All right, and basically, they go on to say that she's hope they go on to preach goodness. She said, um, um, goodness, I'm just going through this because. All right, Hudson Wilkin will succeed the Rev, right Reverend Trevor Wilman, who retired from the role this, in May after 10 years. She'll be consecrated at the Paul in a service at St. Paul's Cathedral on November 19th, installed at Canterbury Cathedral in uh, November 30, later this year. All right, let's just get into it, all right, because most of it is just people saying that basically a patron saint to virtue. If she is, not knocking her, but I just want to get to the meat of meat of these articles. I don't have to read everything word for word. So, okay. Hudson Wilkin was born and raised in Jamaica. She was educated at Montego Bay High School for Girls, at Birmingham University. She trained with the church army and was commissioned in 1982 as an evangelist. Okay, that's cool. She has credentials. She later trained for ordination at Queen's Theological College on their part-time course, ordained deacon in 1991, priesthood in 1994, and served a tale at St. Matthew's Church, William Hall Roll in the Diocese of Litchfield. For 16 and a half years, she served as a priest in Hackney. In 2007, she was appointed as a chaplain to Her Majesty the Queen, and in 2010, she became the first female appointed to the position of chaplain to the Speaker of the House of Commons. In November 2014, she took on the additional responsibility as priest in charge of the city, St. Mary at Hill, near Monument. She has pre okay, further on, I go and say she has previously served as a member of the general synod of the Church of England. Again, synod sounds like some from science fiction, but I digress. And also on the panel of chairs of the synod. She has twice represented the Church of England at the World Council of Churches in Zimbabwe and Brazil. She served as priest representative on the Anglican Consultative. Tative Council for nine years. She served as a selection secretary for Church of England, hoped to let men and women seem to test the vocation in the ministry. She does numerous preaching and speaking engagements nationally and occasionally overseas. She was a member of the Broadcasting Standards Commission and has a wide experience of media engagement, including some religious broadcasting. She's married to Kenneth, a prison chaplain, and they have three adult children. All right, in the article, so basically, sorry, so basically, I think I've heard of this lady before. Maybe I've read a one or two articles about her in the past. But all right, so that's all right. That's cool. All right, like I said, like I do hope, like I said, like in this new position that she's going to use it to do good. But again, I'm not really going to be 
pulling, putting the cape on. Yeah, I know she's a native Jamaican like myself and so on. And I know a lot of Jamaicans are going to be proud that we have one of our own get this high position in England. And I'm going to get on that just now. All right. Now, I just want to say, I mean, I don't know anything outside about her, but I, because the fact that I think she said something about racism, I mean, that's good and all, but what I hope this woman doesn't turn out is this going to be another figurehead, minority figurehead. I mean, cause given how racist Britain is, England is, that racist past, especially England is one of the people that helped to colonize Jamaica, all right, and are still, are still on the, um, that country's thumb. All right, I think I'm just again. I'm just. I just suggest that us in the black diaspora, right? we just keep tabs on her. I mean, again, I'm not in a position to say anything bad about her, but I just hope that she's not going to be a figurehead. That she's just going to be put in that position that she's just basically going to just be you um, be used um, to basically deflect away from the fact that a there's the institution system in England is racist as as hell. Up to this very day, the church in Britain, England is racist as hell because they're one of many places that participated in the slave trade and are still benefiting from it. No, so that is kind of why I'm just giving this commentary on her eye. Right. Yeah, I'm not going to be one of those people who say, oh, congratulations, oh, she made it, okay, we're so proud of. Again, I mean, I don't know her as a person, don't know what to get down is, but... I'm just putting it out there just to for people just to keep tabs. Us in the black community, we need to keep tabs of our own who get these positions of power. And we have to see that they try to either they do good with it or if they don't, that we call them out on it. So we just have to watch this one. Uh, and yeah, I'm not giving her a slap because she's a fellow Jamaican like myself, all right? I don't, like I said, I just hope that she will use her power to really push the envelope and speak up or speak out and call out some of the stuff that's in the church maybe she has all right may, all right maybe all right like speak out as some of the, the funny stuff that's going on in the churches globe uh in england throughout the world all right also i hope what i want to know what her her position is on repar reparations because when it comes to jamaica britain owes us reparations for the screw for what they did for the centuries of slavery and uh, and of the third um, the third world condition that we're still in, all right. I mean, I, I won't go into a rant about that, but I just want to see what where her mindset is going to be. All right, I just hope that she does use it to do good for the black community. That she's just not going to be just another mouthpiece for the church, because believe me, there's some things in in the church in Britain that need to be called out. So, and I hope that she has just as the more backbone to do it. So again, we just have to keep tabs on us. So and bait if I want to put this in my main YouTube page or state of Jamaican Caribbean. Alright, I'll decide by the time I listen, go over this and listen and then then it'll end up in either my main YouTube page or State of Jamaican Caribbean. So that's all I have to say. And this recording.